Hey, Talking Money Tuesday, let's learn how to complain a bit better today. Money! Money, money, money. I want money. Show me the money. Well, I'll tell you what, Lee Murphy, if there's one thing I love doing, it's complaining. Especially when I feel that I, uh, as a human, <laughs> have had my rights invaded. Yes. Uh, so I thought we'd better get some advice on how to complain properly. Uh, <laughs> consumer rights, and who else to tell us but the man who knows everything about bills to pay? Chris Bondon, hello. Good morning, Bridge and Lemo. Are you a complainer? <laughs> um, at times I am, yes. Mm. Um, everyone's got a right to make a complaint if they're not happy with the service. Yeah, uh, absolutely, because you do. Sometimes you'll get a phone bill and think, hang on a sec, this isn't right. Or, a, or an electricity bill or a gas bill. So how should we go about getting a complaint dealt with? Yeah, there are many industry bodies that are associated with the product or service. Now, the first one is a telecommunications. So they're called the uh, TIC, Telecommunications Industry Ombudsman. Yep. And what they are is an alternative to a company complaint. So if you've gone to your telco provider yep. and you're not happy with the res the result, uh, the actual solution of your complaint, yep. then you go to the, uh, the t TIC and you say, I'm not happy, what can I do? And they, they step in and they allow you to go and complain through them and they act as a mediator. Right. They would be pretty busy, I'd reckon. I would. Now, last <laughs> quarter, the stats that revealed 35,000 complaints. Wow. Yeah. That is a lot of complaints. In that industry. Well, no surprise. <laughs> One thing that I'll talk about is people don't know that if a telco bills you in excess of 161 days, then you don't have to pay your bill. Hang on. If you get the bill... Yes. 161 days after the end of the billing period... Correct. You don't have to pay it. Correct. That's the uh, rule. And every member that's in that body, whether you're offering internet, mobile or a landline, yeah. are all associated with the TIC. So you don't have to pay your bill. Wow. Wow, that's a great rule. I mean, I don't imagine it would happen that often that mm. you would get bills that late. So that's you get hidden though, isn't it? New companies uh, provide new technology in their, in their business and sometimes yeah. these bills fall over. And yeah. it's yeah. happened recently in the energy mm. industry. Okay, oh. what about your electricity and your... Uh, you know, your gas, that sort of gear. Yeah, so they're called the uh, Energy and Water Ombudsman in mm. Victoria. And for electricity, if your bill is nine months late, again, you don't have to pay your bill. So mainly oh. in these issues here, you must go to your electricity provider first, as an example. And once you've gone that down that path and they're not helpful, then you go down the ombudsman side of things, which is right. EWOV in Victoria, and you let them know that you're not happy <laughs> with the complaining process, the department isn't helpful, and these guys will step I in for you. I have never had a bill nine months late. I might have paid one nine months late. Yeah. But not the other way around. I've got to say, it sounds like it had sucked to be the ombudsman. Yeah. I'm you had got to deal with a lot of complaints. Yeah, it's a bad job. Uh, now, what about, okay, well, that's good. Now, what about complaints in the financial services industry? Yeah, financial services are, are governed by two bodies. There's the FOS, which is the financial ombudsman service, yep. and the credit ombudsman service, COS. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's if you've got an issue with a mortgage, a credit card, or a personal loan, or a service provider in the industry, yep. you go down that path where you must go down complaining to the company first. Right. That's usually, and it's consistent across all industry bodies, mm -hmm. you must give them the opportunity. They've got 45 days to come back to you with a solution. Right. If you don't like it, then you can go on. Yeah. Then you go on. Yeah, correct. Now, many people um, these days are in a situation where they're struggling to pay bills and their repayments. And what they allow you to do is they can actually freeze your repayments and extend your loan period. You can either delay your repayment or you can actually negotiate and let them know your situation for three to six months. All right. All right. Look, I'll tell you what, Chris, all of your stuff is fantastic. I'm learning a lot and I'm going to be rich soon. Um, <laughs> Chris Bondon from billstopay.com.au and you can find out all of Chris's tips on our website now, which is fantastic, gold1043.com.au. Chris, thanks for joining. Start moving forward in life. Talk to Bills to Pay now. Head to billstopay.com.au.